So from March, what they were doing is they were staging these events here to make you think that if you went to the park, for example, to do exercise, you'd get spoken to, told to leave the area or even get arrested. So I want you to listen to this guy with the baseball cap on and look at him and we'll talk about it afterwards. One second. Are you under arrest? Of course, no, you got to take the fucking police around me. I'm going to push you a workout, bro. We're going to lose the plot in a minute. I've already got my better house down here, fancy you lot. I'm not even work out. How am I going to be calm, bro? How? Leave me alone. Let me do my workout with my guy and I'll be gone. That's simple. Common sense, man. Now the next event is from uh, January, okay? Same guy once again, so have a listen to what he says. Trying to follow the procedures, she's staying away from people. Young girl over there, she, she's been here before. She's got a mask on, she's trying to follow the procedures. She's staying away from people. They come, they put their hands on her, she tries to move away. They push her to the ground and they proceed to all pile on a young girl on the ground. She's only small as well. Yeah, this is what leaves all do, scum. Anything for a paycheck, anything yeah. for a paycheck they'll do. But don't worry, they'll, it'll come for them. Calm as a bitch. Check anything for a paycheck they'll do. More as well. This is what leaves all do, scum. Anything for a paycheck, anything for a paycheck they'll do. Small as well. This is what leaves all do, scum. Do, scum. Anything for a paycheck, anything for a paycheck they'll do. How ironic that the actor says about money and paychecks and what people do for paychecks. How ironic. And you'll see what I mean um, as we investigate a bit further, okay? So same guy, two different events, two different events, but with the same narrative that they want you to think, right, we need to defund the police because they're violent, they're brutal, they don't do their job properly. We need to defund the police. That is what the agenda is. That's what it's been from day one. And people like this are paid... Um, are paid to do it. That's what it seems like, okay? That's what it seems like. So let's have a look at a bit more evidence. So here he is again on the right-hand side with that baseball cap that you saw. And I want you to notice who he's with. He's with Ramis on the left-hand side. You can see him there. And make note of the blonde guy as well next to him as well, who is also uh, someone who appears in all of Ramis's videos as well, okay? So that's one place. Here he is yet again, our man here, but without the Arsenal cap. This time, it's at the staged event where they invaded the ITV building, yeah? So here he is, part of that, dressed in black like they were all told to. Um, you see the guy with the Beatles t-shirt and the camera? We'll look at him another day, okay? But just remember him. So, yeah. That's where we originally saw him, mouthing off at the police, saying that all he wanted to do was exercise with his guy, yeah? And that they were affecting his mental health, yeah? Here he is at another event, mouthing off at the police. Now, I would show you the video to this, but I can't remember which one it is. But you can see he's wearing the Arsenal cap. Um, it's the same video that I showed you where Darren Nesbitt was pretending to escape the police, okay? So, yet again, another event. Here he is, and the guy on the left looks like the guy from that video I did the other day who kept saying, fascism, fascism, tyranny, fascism, looks like him. So wouldn't it be a coincidence that two suspected actors are there together? Here he is, again, at another staged event um, where they barge through that fire exit. So you can see him there on the left showing his innocence by putting his hands up. How many times do you see the actors do that? put their hands up to make out like oh please please don't hurt me police i'm just an innocent young man with a bottle of water in my hand and um here he is again now this photo you can see how tall he is right now what you'll notice about people like subject access and um resistance gb very tall very tall and now that is a very good quality to have if you're police if you're part of crowd control surveillance because obviously you can be seen from a distance and you can see over the top of people as well. So it would make sense.
that they use people that are tall like that. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets interesting. OK, remember, I showed you him with Ramis. Well, look, here he is in Ramis's bloody music video. OK. See him there. Now, isn't it funny that he's there with that bald guy who was also there yesterday at the event yesterday? OK, so isn't it funny that our man here um, is chosen to be part of Ramis's music videos I mean you know it's almost like they all know each other and they're all connected like I said here's where it gets interesting so here he is next to the man who threw a glass bottle at the head of the police officer and put and was in the Daily Mail so our man here who was saying about the police will do anything for money is standing next to this man who throws glass bottles at people. OK, so this man on the right was moaning about the girl getting um, brutally attacked by the police. Yeah, um, but he's fine to share the same screen with this man on the left who dresses like that. For one thing, he dresses like that in real life, goes on the protest like that, drinks beer on the demos and also throws said glass bottles of beer at policemen's heads and then it makes a daily mail and then they discredit the whole anti-lockdown movement because of this moron so our man here on the right the arsenal guy who was moaning about what people do for money and moaning about violence is stood next to the man who wears that shit on on his face and who throws glass bottles at people and makes the daily mail And look, here he is in the official cover of Ramis's video, whatever you want to call it. And look how he's literally sat next to Ramis. You could not make this up. All right. You couldn't. Look, there, there's, you know, there's another picture. Yeah. So literally this man on the right is connected big time to all the actors. He's connected to Ramiz. He's connected uh, connected to the gym guy. He's connected to the guy who dresses uh, like a, um, like an idiot with a mask on and throws glass bowls. Yeah, so that's the company that this man keeps. Okay. Now, here's a cherry on top of the cake. All right. Now, here we have old David Icke. Yeah. David Icke, who promotes Resistance GB, the Islamophobe, who um, rocks the Muhammad T-shirt. So, David Icke, you claim to be free Palestine, and so does your son, Gareth Icke. Gareth Icke, he even puts on a Palestinian flag on his Twitter page, yeah? But yet, you both promote Resistance GB, who um, wears the T-shirt of Muhammad. So, it, it doesn't really make sense to me. It really does not make sense to me. It's actually so ridiculous it's it's laughable but anyway so there's david ike who promotes the um agent provocateur and islamophobe resistance gb and look who's behind him it's our man it's our man yeah so isn't that funny that in this iconic photo and yes i did that on purpose iconic right we have this man here the one that we've just seen in the clips shouting at the police. Um, we've seen him in Ramis's music videos. And here he is, right behind David Icke in this classic, iconic photo. So what I'm going to say to you is I reckon they're going to use this dude for something big soon. Because you must have seen how they do it. They keep building a legend. They keep showing them doing bits and pieces here. Shouting at the police. Shouting at that guy taking part of this staged event, uh, invading the ITV building, etc., etc., posing behind David Icke, yeah? Being in Ramis's music videos. So can you see they're just constantly building this kid's legend, right? And then possibly one day they'll give him his Sean Ward moment and he'll get arrested, bundled into a van, um, staged arrest, staged assault, whatever it might be. But I'm going to predict that they're going to use this kid for something in the future. Now, either way, we win because 
if he does it, then we know we were right and we've got all the proof and we predicted it and we warmed people. And if we're wrong, it's probably because we've exposed them so much they don't want to use him. So therefore, what we've done is we've retired people. That's what we've got to do. Keep exposing them so they can't be used because they're too, they're too known. They're too out there. They're too exposed. Too many eyes on them. Yeah? And it's not safe for them to carry on. So they'll retire them or make them go to a, a staged event up in Newcastle um, or, or wherever it might be. But just somewhere not where you usually see them. OK, so my prediction is they're going to use this kid for something in the future. And all you got to do is see how many times he's been used to see that. And when you get put in a Ramis music video. It's probably a sign that you're going to be part of some staged event. Because all you've got to do is look at the rest of the people that are in this video. And they've all either been arrested or they've been in the Daily Mail for throwing glass bottles. It's just hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And how funny that he's literally <laughs> sat next to our man, Ramis. Yeah. So there you go. Another investigation from the world's greatest detective, if I do say so myself. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. Absolutely brilliant. I love it when all you've got to do is a bit of research and everything just ties together nicely. Yeah. Brilliant. OK, let's end it there. But let's end it here. And by the way, you see this guy with the beard who's uh, looking after David Icke. That man there with the beard claims to be David Icke's bodyguard. OK. And yet again, what we have is we have a man with the beard who's a Zionist, who's very anti-Islam, but yet seems to be the, the bodyguard of David Icke, who's all about free Palestine. Yeah, so we have yet another contradiction. So not only did we have David Icke and Gareth Icke promoting resist resistance GB, the Islamophobe, while they claim to be free Palestine, he's also been protected by a Zionist as well. <laughs> you just couldn't make this up, could you? So there we go, another investigation complete. And like I said, keep your eyes out on this kid. Um, because I'm pretty much sure they're going to use him for something big in the future. And even if they don't, good. It means that we exposed him too much and they weren't able to use him. And that's what it's all about. Simple as that. So don't don't underestimate the power that we have on this channel, okay? We are making history and there's nothing they can do to stop it. And also what I would say is that we don't wish violence or harm upon any of these people, even though they deceive us and they deceive their own brothers and sisters. We wish no harm on them. We are non-violent. I would rather they just came to their senses and then expose the whole, uh, the whole scam. OK, so again, I repeat, I wish no harm on the actors, the crisis actors, even if you've been deceiving your own brothers and sisters for decades, like some of you have. I wish you no harm. All I wish you to do is do the right thing and expose the whole scam. OK, expose the whole controlled opposition. And that's that's what you need to do. All right. So peace and blessings to everyone. Where there's darkness, we shine our light the brightest. Take care of yourselves and of others. Peace for now.